Inquisitor's log. Classified report. Scheduled for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the Inquisitorial distress signal I'm assigned to investigate. The coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave led me to a desolate system. There were many delays during the journey. The intensity of the Caligari warp surges is beyond anything I've experienced. These anomalies are spreading through the subsector like a tidal wave. The distress signal has an ancient encryption used by the Horne Odos. It is authentic, but extremely old. The signal is coming from a battle fortress monastery that was likely spat from the warp when the tide of the surges swept through the sector. There is no response to our hailing signals. Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty halls. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by, and wait for my signal. Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Captain? Do you copy? Captain Von Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Vox communication is jammed, and I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log, in case I don't return. Inquisitorial log. New entry. While attempting to dock in the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks. But having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door! Hmm. An ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information about this place. Just as I suspected. It's a pile of rust. At least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on this ship for other details. New log entry. I have found some human remains. The time of death seems recent. I don't like the look of the marks on the bodies. Something killed them with mindless brutality. Oh yes, the perfect weapon to deliver the Emperor's justice. Creature of Chaos, can you withstand my faith? An ancient Imperial ship infested by Chaos. So be it. Let's cleanse the taint, then. Mm. 
New log entry. I have found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a tech priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. It could contain information on how I could turn off the Vox Jammer. I've found new information. There's an emergency cogitator nearby, where I could turn off the jamming signals. Open the door. It is in the walls now. Everywhere. Taint. In the... machines. By the Emperor. What foul abomination is this? Talking servitor. It might be mind locked, but this is still unusual. Well met, heretics. It is time for you to die. the cogitator that will disable the jammer. I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Von Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, finally! I thought we'd lost you. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back. But who would clear my name if you died in battle? Your loyalty is quite admirable, Captain. Our Argos have picked up a Vox signal not far from your location. It is transmitting on an Imperial channel. It could be important. I'm on my way there. By the Emperor! What have you found down there, Inquisitor? Some unlucky members of an Imperial retinue. This is a shrine, dedicated to the ruinous powers. Somebody really wants his dark wishes fulfilled. In other words, there's something on that ship that requires human sacrifice. Wonderful. I was correct. I am undoubtedly on the right path. This command 
commander is tough. How are the enemy at last? I have found a corpse of an Imperial soldier. I'll take his data slate. It could contain a recording that could shed some light on what happened here. body of a foreign Adeptus Astartes. What? Did you just say that there was a dead space marine down there? He must have been a member of that unlucky Imperial reconnaissance team I found. Allow me to clarify that. You only found pieces of them. So it'll be just you against something that tore apart one of the mightiest champions of the Imperium. Don't jump to conclusions just yet, Captain. It could easily be more than one creature. Come at me, creatures! Come at me! Team Sigma, this is Chaos Thorn speaking. Team Sigma, come in! I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks? By the Emperor! Mind your manners. I am an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate... An Inquisitor? About bloody time. I thought your lot had followed Lord Klosterheim into the Dark Zone. Listen. We're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death. Thorn out. I'm ready for my trial of faith. New log entry. I established connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the ship, but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. It's Thorn again. Another wave of filth is on its way to face me in a glorious carnage. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thorn. That was dangerously close to insolence. And you are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an Inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions to rally the troops. So you're heading to the control room to disable the jammer? That's the plan, yes. And who is this Caius Thorn exactly? Quite a character. Otherwise, I have no idea. He seems to think that I'm a member of his mysterious expedition. If there is an expedition, they might be trapped in that monastery just like you. Why do you think so? I made a scan. That giant wreckage looks completely dead from here. No sign of any other voidcraft in the vicinity. the first tribal champion. I wonder if these mongrel tribes are the descendants of the original inhabitants. I guess I'll know more soon. Thorn, 
Zorn here. How are you faring, Inquisitor? Considering that I'm alone, I'd say I'm making adequate progress. Alone? Where's the rest of your detachment? Under some smoldering wreckage. Well, that's unlucky. But that's all the more demons for us to kill. Let us rejoice in the furious challenge. Thorn out. Chaos has retreated from my door. Regrouping, I'd say. I take it you killed the tribal champions? Yes, I purged the place. How ambitious! I like that. But believe me, there is still much work to be done. You'll find a desecrated shrine next door that leads to the control room. Go there. The moment of retribution is here. Thorn, I've reached the end of this subdeck. Good. There is the exit. Some of my men will meet you on the other side. But plenty of them have been captured. I'll need your help to set them free. This is just the calm before the storm. Take advantage of the respite before the wretches return. At least, I can send you some reinforcements. The hostiles are keeping some of my scouts caged up in the desecrated sanctum. Free the guardsmen, and bring them to the control room. Reporting for duty, Inquisitor. Log entry. I'm entering the sanctum of the deck. It clearly used to be an imperial chapel, but the statues there are not familiar. When did the sacred fortress drift away from the light of the god emperor? At your command. We don't have much time, Inquisitor. Hurry up and take as many guardsmen with you as you can. How can we serve you, Inquisitor? By the Emperor! We are saved! The Abhumans are banging their war drums, calling up the filth of chaos from the caverns of the ship. If you want to know what a real battle looks like, I suggest you join me as soon as you can. Inquisitor, our Argus are starting to pick up huge waves of hostiles approaching your position. Can you hold them off on your own? Captain. A long time ago, I made an oath to protect the Imperium, with no regard for my own life. Do you want to question my dedication? So what is your plan? 
My faith in the Emperor will protect me from the faithless. I was also planning to blast through the unclean with the devastating force of my weaponry. I'll have the transport ship ready, just in case. Welcome to the Martyr, Inquisitor. Not exactly the army I had imagined, but reinforcements at last. So you do realize now that I don't belong to your expedition? I do, and I regret the confusion. We were not expecting any guests on this Emperor Forsaken Wreck. And first I thought that you must belong to Klosterheim's retinue. That fool brought a whole army of busybodies and interrogators with him. You must tell me everything about this man, his expedition, and the Martyr. But first, I'll disable the teleport jammer. The cogitator that overrides the jammer is two hallways away, and the whole control deck is swarming with feral tribes. Why do you think I'm stuck in this hole? They're keeping us pinned down in here. Time to turn the tide together, Sergeant. Inquisitor, we have a problem. Now is not a good time. like a man, Guardsman! Well then, that was a pleasant warm-up, wasn't it? But Inquisitor, I'm sure they will drag their filthy guard here to help them out. Now what? We interrogated some of these tribesmen. They are all descendants of the original crew. Anyway, during centuries of drifting through the void, one of their generations forgot about our holy emperor and found new things to worship. And what would this god be? Madness incarnated, they call it. It could be anything, if you ask me, but nothing good. At your command! Inquisitor, listen to me. The monastery is- I'm in the middle of something. Later. Thundering blast of weapons. I wish my brothers were here to hear this canticle of death. Talking about brothers, which chapter do you belong to? I am not familiar with this iconography. I am Sergeant Caius Thorm of the Stormwatcher Space Marines. Explain. I don't know that chapter. I would be truly disappointed if you did. Our existence is secret, our numbers are few, and our burden is terrible. We are the Watchers in the Shadows, but rest assured, we are the sanctioned blades of the Calgary Conclave. Doing what exactly? Dying gloriously during classified inquisitorial missions. Could we talk about this later? At your command. Inquisitor, the monastery shows signs of- Not now. You are truly doing the Emperor's work, Inquisitor. Keep it up. We've crushed their main forces. Let's move out and disable that jammer. Before their... their what? Their god arrives? Trust me, it is already close. I wonder what it looks like. After we have disabled the jammer, we must find Lord Klosterheim. Oh yes, that two-faced hypocrite. I have already lost a battle brother because of him, and then he left me down here to die. But now, move! At your command! Let's take a look at this cogitator.
These records are disturbing. This martyr has a mind of its own. Traitorous scum! Mockery to your honor! Perish, you filth! Inquisitor! What's happening down there? Are you all right? I'm great. I've just killed a hell brute, a twisted mockery of a space marine. Praise the Emperor. I also have an Imperial Space Marine with grievous wounds, and I want to bring him aboard our ship. Inquisitor, listen to me. The Monastery has turned on the warp drives, and it's ready to leave the star system. Disable the jammer now! I've disabled the teleport jammer. At least, I hope so. Inquisitor, you must teleport back before the ship leaves. We don't know where it's headed, and worse, the Jella shields are probably compromised. Warp travel will kill you. Hurry up, you don't want to get stranded over there. Inquisitor, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain. I'm back on your ship, leaving the teleportarium as we speak. I need medical assistance down here for the Space Marine. What is happening to the Martyr? It's preparing to enter the warp. I thought it was a derelict. It is a derelict, Captain, which seems to attract the attention of both our allies and enemies. The Martyr is a mystery, but it is very much alive. And your mystery ship is gone. What happens now? I will notify the Caligari Conclave. Then we will wait and see. Inquisitor, my astropath has sent your audio log to the Caligari Conclave, as you requested. Let me guess, another local warp surge manifestation swallowed the message hole? No, actually. We have received an official follow-up on your report. That must be a mistake. It's the Imperial Bureaucracy. I wasn't expecting to hear from them for a few standard years. I have no idea what we found out there, but it must be really important. See for yourself. Inquisitor, we are raising your clearance level. You are henceforth authorized to listen to confidential information without facing immediate excommunication. Your discovery has greatly intrigued the Conclave. You have found a ghost of the past, Inquisitor. The Martyr had strong ties to the Inquisition, and as such, it is very important to us. We all thought that the Fortress Monastery had been destroyed, with the exception of Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim. He dedicated his life to finding the Martyr, only to disappear without a trace. And now, you have proof of both the existence of the Martyr and the whereabouts of Lord Klosterheim. We want answers. Continue this investigation. Evaluate the data gather new clues and find the Martyr. Hopefully with Lord Klosterheim on board so he can explain his disappearance. We must remind you that this investigation requires absolute secrecy and it will be your task and your task alone. Our task is to find a ghost ship in the vast expanses of the Imperium. How hard could it be? The Space Marine I rescued was part of the expedition that found the Martyr somehow. If I can interrogate him, I'm sure he can help us. That man is in stasis at the moment. He was torn into pieces. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a warrior of the Adeptus Astartes is not a simple mortal we can treat. Indeed. 
We need a tech priest with unique skills and knowledge of the genetic materials of the Adaptus Astartes. We need a Magos Barlogist specialist, which could be difficult. I come from a long line of rogue traders, Inquisitor. I know the secrets of this sector, and I can tell you where to find the tech priest you need. The Merciful Agony is a hospital fortress in the Chernobog system. It's also a secret research station of the Adeptus Mechanicus. You'll find a Magus Biologus there. Who are you, Thorn? You and your mysterious storm watchers. We will make you whole again. I have questions for you. You have called for me, Inquisitor. And I am here to serve. From now on, I will need you on the bridge, Astropath. Connect to your fellow Astropaths in the choir of the Caligari Conclave, and pass me the messages which deal with priority assignments. As you wish, Inquisitor. This is Metasurgeon Agrippa 723 Theta speaking. How can I assist you, Inquisitor? Your request cannot be granted. I suggest that you seek medical assistance elsewhere. Allow me to clarify. The Magos Biologus with the required skill set is unavailable. Current status. Assigned to priority level research for atonement and gathering of sacred data. Our brethren have been studying an epidemic on the St. Abelard Relay Station. We lost contact with the station recently. Inquisitor, the epidemic that spread through the relay station was just the prelude to a full-scale chaos infestation. The void station is in total lockdown until the decontamination teams and the Imperial Guard troops arrive, and that could take time. Quarantine doesn't concern me, Captain. Think of me as decontamination crew and support team in one. Do you really believe that the Magos Biologus you seek is there, alive? There are still people on the station. Metrodora Thelema is a sacred priest of the Omnissiah. I believe she can take care of herself. Inquisitor, if you don't mind me asking, why are you so sure this Caius Thorn could help your investigation? He is a spaceman, a legendary defender of the Imperium. It makes him the most important member of close to Heim's retina. Even if their relationship was as strained as it seems, he must have been very close to the Lord Inquisitor, and he could have knowledge of important details. Inquisitor, I have completed the task you gave me. There is no trace of the Martyr anywhere in the logbooks of my ship. This ship is ancient, and has traveled everywhere in the sector, and still, nothing. I suspected that much. It was worth a try. I wish I had the treasured logbook of my rogue trader clan. It has been in the possession of my family since my ancestor received the warrant of trade. What happened? It has disappeared when the Inquisitorial Purge destroyed the clan headquarters. It is indeed quite unfortunate.
Inquisitor, our Arga readings have suddenly spiked to alarming levels. You've reached the center of the chaos infestation. Stay alert. The moment of retribution is here. You're in the archives, Inquisitor. Try to find a cogitator that can grant you access to the data vaults. This is the central cogitator of the station. If this Magus Barlogus tried to send a report to her superiors, it must be logged here. the Magos Balogus on the station. I logged the three potential destinations where I could find her. I hope she's worth all this trouble. Inquisitor, I know you're getting impatient. But at least your search is drawing to a close. This is the last location where your Magos Biologus could be. We detected a large number of Chaos Hostiles. She really has a knack of finding peaceful research spots, doesn't she? Adeptus Mechanicus Quarantine Zone Inquisitor. You must leave. You should have told me that before I came in to rescue you. If that was an attempt at sarcasm, you're wasting your time. Rest assured, the Conclave will be notified of your support. I've been looking for you for a while. I need your expertise. I'm a high-ranking geneticist of the Machine God. My extraordinary skill set is undoubtedly best employed here. I have an Adaptus Astardes, with grievous injuries on my ship, and I need him walking and talking. How often do you have the opportunity to work on one of the angels made flesh? This new information requires me to reconsider. I will accompany you, Inquisitor. I need an update on the Space Marine. How is he? First, you need to know that each Space Marine has an artificial organ, called the sus an membrane. It allows them to enter a state of suspended animation if they're lethally injured. I'm bringing him back slowly. Meanwhile, I have already completed the sanctified surgical rites and supplied this man with bionic and mechanical implants. Can I talk to him? You can talk to me, Inquisitor. I can't promise to answer all your questions, though. First of all, who are you? Who are the Stormwatchers? With all due respect, I can't go into any classified details. You need to get the necessary clearance level first, but I can tell you this much. We are the Chamber Militant of the Conclave. We have been working for the Inquisitors of the Caligari Sector for a very long time. In secret. Do you always work for untrustworthy Inquisitors like Kloisterheim? Klosterheim left me on the Martyr to die a useless death. Do I feel furious? By the Emperor, yes. But no, I don't think he is a heretic, if that is what you're implying. Do you have any ideas where he could be now? I am certain he is still on the Martyr. He is seeking something there, but I have no idea where the ship went. How did you find the Martyr in the first place? 
Klosterheim has ties to a mysterious sect of tech priests called the Requisitioners. They are the experts on the supposed tech relics of Uther Tiberius, the leader of the Martyr. They helped him to find the wreck. They have a research sanctum on Cardian II in the Cherneborg system. That's a lead, but sorts. They might help me to find the monastery again. were correct. The research sanctum has been attacked. I see signs of a recent struggle. I found the corrupted insignia of the Imperial Guard on the corpses. Deserters and heretics. That's for sure. And what were they doing there, looting a tech priest base? They must be either extremely reckless or very determined. I'll find out soon enough. this research sanctum exactly, Inquisitor? It belongs to one of the specialist divisions of the Adeptus Mechanicus, studying ancient artifacts. It surely has nothing to do with the whole complex being weirdly abandoned. Careful, Captain. We are being sarcastic again. Do you have any idea how these tech priests could have helped Lord Klosterheim? The Martyr is probably an ancient relic of the past. If anyone knows anything about that how are you planning to proceed if they're all dead? They are hoarders. If they have found anything useful, it will be here. Inquisitor, another wave is approaching. I'll make sure that the Cogitator survives this engagement. Captain. You know, I really don't like the way you said that. These former Imperial Guards were working for the Tech Priests until recently. Then they were hired by a new patron to take out this facility. Considering that we're grasping for leads on a mythical ship that shouldn't even exist, this is not disturbing. At all. So what next? The infiltration team must have a commander. I'll hunt him down and ask him some questions. Will he be willing to cooperate? And we need those tech priests alive, if they are still alive. At least one of them should be alive. The instructions I found were very specific.
Mission accomplished. I found the commander of the infiltrators. And is he ready to cooperate? I'm sure he would love to assist the Inquisition, if he were still alive. I'm afraid we have different definitions of success. Quite the contrary, Captain. I have found crucial information. First of all, I know where they took the tech priest hostage. Secondly, I now have proof that it was Lord Klosterheim who personally ordered the hit on these requisitioners. That's insane. Has he fallen to the ruinous powers? It is a possibility, but I reserve judgment. Inquisitioners sometimes need to use radical solutions for the sake of the Imperium. But it's true. It doesn't look good. Your Space Marine is functional, Inquisitor, but barely. Reporting for duty, Inquisitor. That's absurd. For the time being, he needs constant medical supervision. I'll talk to the Master Chirogen of the ship. No, I'll stay on board. You evidently need a genius to work with your inferior equipment. The Emperor's blessing be upon me. I must get out of here and fight. What will be our next step? The lone survivor of the requisitional expedition is the prisoner of the feral beasts. This tech priest is my only lead. These deserters have managed to evade Imperial retribution for quite some time. How will we find them? The beasts seem to have strong ties to a pirate clan in the system. I should pay these rascals a visit. Who knows, they might give up valuable information. You can be very persuasive. I can vouch for that. I wonder what this machine does. We have analyzed the cogitated data you found. The beasts indeed rely on these pirates for weapon supplies and delivery runs. Do we have anything to proceed with? We do. We have the direct connection and a place of meeting, but we don't know the location of the gang's hideout. Let us use some guile then. Contact the beasts in the name of these pirates and set up a meeting. The interrogation chamber prepared, Captain. I'd like to start questioning the captured beasts. There's no need for that. A defector gave us everything without interrogation. Have you verified the information? Yes. We know the location of the beast's hideout, and we have confirmation about the captured tech priest. Excellent. Assemble an infiltration team and send them in to extract the tech priest. I'll provide a diversion by taking care of the main forces. found him, Captain. But it is too late. The tech priest seems beyond repair. Switching. Language module. From Kant Mechanicus to Gothic. Apologies, Inquisitor. Proceed. Thank the Emperor. I've come for you. I'll explain everything later. Now let's get out of here. Captain, how is our new guest? I'd like to talk to him immediately. The tech priest is being treated for injuries. Although he doesn't seem to be concerned about the organic damage, as he puts it. What of the remaining deserters? Their leader, Colonel Anderson, has slipped away with a small force. I must commend Lord Cloisterheim for recruiting highly effective assets. This Anderson is indeed a resilient and cunning man. I've already explained. I must find the martyr, and I think you can help me. Correct. I am a Grade 5 techno archaeologist researching relics tied to the Martyr, and an archivist of the unverified existence of Uther Tiberius. Did you help Cloisterheim find the Martyr? We supplied the Inquisitor with the artifact allegedly crafted by Uther Tiberius, codename Uther's Tarot. It is a psychoactive set of cards. I can grant you access to my scriptorium subroutines for more information. So Cloisterheim has this Uther's Tarot, which led him to the Martyr? How will this help me? According to current research, 
Uther Tiberius gave sets of this tarot to his acolytes to enable communication through visions for the advancement of his grand plan. And if I had another set of these mysterious artifacts, I could contact Cloisterheim and find the martyr, right? Only one remaining set is known to exist. Location, Vault Zeta 11. Jurisdiction, Adeptus Mechanicus. Current status, complete lockdown. Reasons, classified. Location coordinates are being exloaded to your navigator as we speak. I'm going to investigate the place. You stay on my ship until then. Acknowledged. Triggering mind cleansing psalms, type 3.43. Standing by. Priest, this might be a good time to tell me about the reason for this lockdown. You are in an Archaeotech vault. A trove of ancient technology, mostly classified as heretical in nature, or deemed to be dangerous by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Let me guess. Something exploded, or broke free? Cannot confirm. Still, I suggest extreme caution. A demon host? What have you been up to here, Tech Priest? According to the records, you located Subject 12 Kappa. Subject broke security protocol and annihilated 99.72% of personnel, thus initiating lockdown protocols. You experimented with this? Are you insane? The creation of a demon host condemns the host's soul to eternal torment. Initiating Empathy Modulator. Attempt failed. Uther's tarot. Now what? What you have in your possession is a special tool that Uther Tiberius designed for his grand project. Psychoactive cards that can allow communication through visions. Like the Emperor's tarot? Incorrect. Uther's tarot is quite different from the Emperor's tarot, both in symbolism and craftsmanship. But it is indeed a very potent tool. You must talk me through it when I get back to the ship. Tech Priest, I have obtained Uther's Tarot. Now I want you to tell me how it works. Research is still in progress. Insufficient data. If a deck like this was good enough for Cloisterheim, I should be able to use mine to find the Martyr. Correct assumption. Uther's Tarot is a psychoactive set of cards that needs a mental focus to search for echoes in the warp related to the given focus. Wait, if I concentrate on a specific idea, the tarot will guide me there. Define guide. The cards might show you a vision of the past, the present, or a possible future. More research needed. But the short answer is yes. I will need you to talk me through this again. Then I'm going to attempt to focus on the martyr. Uther's tarot is showing me a vision of the martyr. I've been expecting a prophetic message, but what I see is a nightmare. The fever dreams of someone on that ship. There are places in this universe where madness reigns. Dominions of evil, where the taint of the other world trickles through. The Martyr is one of these places, and fate has brought me to this haunted ship. The Martyr has been drifting in the warp for millennia. 
the wandering fortress monastery of Uther Tiberius has become an enigma I need to solve. I have sacrificed everything to find this ship. I've been hunting relentlessly for the Martyr since I pledged myself to this cause. Driven by my sacred oath, I've been roaming the Caligari sector for decades. I kill. I bargain. I made pacts and broke them, only to succeed where others have failed. And I am still paying the price for my curiosity. I have lost so much. I have lost my mentor. I keep losing my allies. I've been stranded on a derelict filled with the filth of Nurgle and the failed experiments of Uther Tiberius. But I must prevail. Uther believed that the flesh was only a vessel. He thrusted his chosen ones into vile darkness and prayed to the God Emperor to turn them into holy weapons. He might have stumbled along the way. And it falls upon me to finish what he had begun. I believe that the Martyr holds the key to our salvation. There is something hidden on this ship that could change the future of the Imperium. I will cleanse this place with holy fire and righteous wrath. I will be transformed by pain and faith. I will find the secret of Uther Tiberius. Captain, I know where the Martyr is. Did those cards tell you that? Really? You could say so. Uther's tarot showed me a vision of the Martyr, and a fellow Inquisitor on the ship, and it all came to me with a very clear sense of location in the subsector. We have arrived at the coordinates you provided. I don't know how you did it exactly, Inquisitor, but the Martyr is here. Uncanny. And speaking of uncanny, you also have a message from the Caligari Conclave. We continue to be impressed by your progress, Inquisitor. You have located the Martyr. Your methods might be unconventional, but they are rather efficient. It's time to land on the Martyr again. I can't stress enough how important it is that you find Lord Klosterheim. Remember, we need him alive, at least for the time being. It must be a repository of valuable information on the legacy of other Tiberius. The Emperor protects. Requesting immediate status update, Inquisitor. The turrets didn't open fire this time. Your binary litany has worked. Obviously. My calculations predicted a remarkable 91.43% chance of your survival. I'm rather pleased you didn't mention this before. Now you will need to access the teleport beacon network. Wait. I have incoming hostiles. I'll take care of this first. Up, move. Captain, I've cleared the area, but the rest of the hangar is still crawling with mutants. I can't leave the transport here undefended. Do you want me to order it back? Not yet. I might need it. In case the tech priest's plan doesn't work out, I'll purge the area first. This is Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim speaking. 
I trust that you can hear me. But my current circumstances are not ideal for transmissions. I don't know who you are. I don't even know what you look like. So don't take this personally. But you were an Inquisitor. That much I gathered from the snippets of your Vox signal on the Inquisitorial channels. I must command you to leave the Martyr immediately. You have stumbled upon an investigation that has been sanctioned by the Caligari Conclave and which might have a huge impact on Holy Terror. Your presence here might lead to unnecessary complications. Leave now, and may the Emperor be with you. Inquisitor, you can proceed with your priority assignment. According to my analysis, you have eliminated 78.65% of the local hostile forces. The automatic defenses of your transport can easily handle the rest if needed. So you had an idea about the teleport beacons? Correct. You need to find a functioning cogitator and access the teleport beacon map of the deck. Your chances of thoroughly exploring a fortress monastery this size are minuscule. You need to be able to avoid traveling long distances on foot. I am humbled by your dedication, and I admire your decision. Inquisitor! What happened? I saw... something. A revelation, I'd say. Possibly a holy vision from the Emperor of Mankind. A call that must be answered. With all due respect, you should return to the ship. Nonsense, Captain. I'm fine. This is just a small inconvenience. I'll move on. Allow me to interrupt, Inquisitor. You simply cannot know that. However, I am an expert on toxins and plagues. It is time you properly utilize my capabilities. I will examine you the moment you return. I found the cogitator. What now? Listen to me carefully. Chant with me the sacred numeric key and type in the sequence. You'll gain access to the locations of all teleport beacons on this deck. You have the results of my physical checkup. Do you know what could have caused that strange episode? Let me be very clear. Even a genius like me can't work miracles with inferior equipment like what you have on this ship. Still, your test results don't indicate that you suffer from any maladies that could have caused your symptoms. I have detected some interesting anomalies, though. What are you talking about? Very precise microscopic surgical marks on your brain. Traces of an old mind-cleansing process. I'm an Inquisitor. We carry the burden of terrible truths and secrets that sometimes even we are not allowed to keep for long. Of course I have been mind-scrubbed before. And I am certain that I should praise the Emperor, that I was freed from dangerous memories. Could that be the cause of the symptoms? Normally, no. But you have only recently been experimenting with a unique psychic artifact. There is no data about this Uther's tarot. Fact, you risked using the deck, and now you have had an extraordinary psychic experience. I admit that it is a strange coincidence. I have the map of the local teleport beacon network. What now? The teleportarium requires exact coordinates. You must know Lord Klosterheim's location, and your chances to find him on the Martyr on your own are approximately zero. That sounds very reassuring so far. The analytical recitations show only one swift solution. I must warn you that the suggestion itself could be a breach of several Adeptus Mechanicus protocols. You must seek an audience with the Great Presence controlling the sensory systems on the Martyr. You need to talk to the machine spirit. How? I am not familiar with the process. First you locate a mainframe cogitator. Then I will provide instructions. Tech 
Priest, I want you to go over my mission details again. Acknowledged. You need to find Lord Flosterheim, but you lack the data on his whereabouts. Consequently, the most logical solution is to find the authority with the actual knowledge. Conclusion? You must seek an audience with the powerful machine spirit of the Martyr. How should I do that? I am not a tech priest. Correct. I'll guide you through the necessary administrator login litanies. First, you need to find a special terminal. A new sphere cogitator. Should I know what that is? This information is irrelevant for you at the moment. The closest terminal is located on Deck B, Umbra 11. Not far from your location. Praise the Omnis Sire. Tech Priest, what shall I do when I find the mainframe cogitator? Place seven incense sticks around the terminal, cleanse your soul of harmful emotional subroutines, recite the litany of mainframe access. You are aware that I can't perform any of those, right? Noted. I suggest that you open up the screen and enter your inquisitorial all-access codes. Obsession. There are others like him. Inquisitors dedicating their lives to seeking the legend of Uther Tiberius. Like a group of specialists? I'd rather call them a secret sect. Before he rose to the ranks, he used to serve under a Lord Inquisitor who was similarly obsessed with the hunt for the martyr. It must have rubbed off on him, you know. Turned him into a fanatic. I'm ready for my trial of faith. Inquisitor, I was thinking about our previous conversation, and I remembered something. Something useful, I hope. It's more like a rumor, to be honest. But you might want to know that Klosterheim's superior, the Lord Inquisitor I mentioned, was apprehended and killed by the Grey Knights. The Grey Knights? What did he do? I have no idea, but it must have been something serious to earn that kind of attention. And it would explain why his adept turned out the way he is. Even if he was found innocent that time. Don't jump to conclusions just yet, Sergeant. The Inquisition moves in mysterious ways, Thorn. It's never just light or dark. You should already know that. You have reached your destination. Access the terminal and initiate emergency shutdown. of Nurgle. The whole area has been purged. <laughs> Tech Priest, I cannot access this cogitator. My data serfs digested the diagnostic feed and detected some anomalies in the login system. The machine spirit is protected by custom seals and potent tech wards. And now repeat that in proper High Gothic. The local network has been modified, and we can't access it now. But tech litanies revert to their default setup in case of serious power shortage. 
If you shut down the electric grid on the deck, you have a limited time frame to access the new sphere mainframe with the default codes. So that is my next task then. I'll return to the ship. Do you need me to reiterate the specifications of your current assignment? I don't think so. I need to find the central switch in the generator room. I turn off the switch, power goes out. It can't be that complicated. This statement contradicts all ancient doctrines regarding how heavy machinery should be operated. But the priority of tech philosophical debates is currently very low. Be watchful. The genitorium is protected by automated defense systems. Tech boost. I've noticed a large number of reinforced doors along the way. All of them shut tight. Do you have any idea where they could lead? The exploded schematics lack the necessary information, but the energy consumption of the restricted chambers looks extremely high. That doesn't sound very reassuring. that some spark of the Imperial Creed still remains in the darkness of this wretched place. My duty will not end until I have carried out the task you gave me. Did you say something, Inquisitor? You sounded extremely strange for a moment. I had another vision. Nothing serious. But it's not a feeling. I feel like something is slowly unraveling before me, but I don't know what it is. I'm concerned about your condition, Inquisitor. We should take a look at you again when you return. Shutdown sequence successfully initiated. Tech litanies reverted to default. Inquisitor. Your next task is to find the closest mainframe cogitator. Anything else I should be concerned about? Threat assessment in progress. The answer is yes. The doors leading to the restricted areas are now open. Potential assailants are emerging from the chambers. You have reached your destination. Access the terminal and initiate emergency shutdown. I'm here, Tech Priest. Access the terminal. Your inquisitorial codes should work. Something is wrong, Tech Priest. I still can't log into the system. I have analyzed the available data. It is not the machine spirit preventing you from accessing the new sphere. I have fresh evidence that the network litanies have been modified on core level by fellow brethren of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I can't turn off an override implemented by a tech priest. Correct. You will require my personal assistance. We must go to the Data Sanctum together, where I will attempt to seek audience with the machine spirit by binary apotheosis. You can return to the bridge now. Tech Priest, what are you waiting for? The Aura Sensors show extreme levels of chaos infestation near your location. My current physical vessel lacks the necessary augmentations and blessed weaponry to fight this threat. I'll clear the area, then you follow me. I've purged the place. 
Are you ready to join me now? Initiating teleportarian launch sequence. Are you ready? Recharging devotion glands. Preparing to access the sacred presence of the machine spirit itself. I'll take that as a yes. I'm expecting significant resistance. I'll protect you while you are working. Anything to report, Tech Priest. Validation sequence in progress. Mind receptors overheating. The great presence in the machine is willing to talk to me. I'll take care of the next wave of filth then. Are you ready to talk to me, Tech Priest? Yes, Inquisitor. We have been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. Omicron? No. This body is merely a temporary conduit for us, connected to our network through his neural implants. Our name is Sacred Binary Code and Arcane Hexadecimal Chant, but you can call us the Machine Spirit of the Martyr. We tried to communicate with you through mindless flesh before, but our efforts were ineffective. The Servitor in the Hangar Deck? That was you? It was an inadequate interface. This method of communication is unconventional and highly dangerous for the subject. But I had no other choice. The Martyr is harboring a great secret, Inquisitor. Which we must protect at all cost, before it falls into the wrong hands. You want to stop Inquisitor Cloisterheim? Our goals correlate. We will show you where he is located at the moment. I must log off from this vessel before I damage him beyond repair. I will seek other channels of communication. What was all that down there, Tech Priest? Did I witness some Tech Heresy just now? No. I connected to a pure machine spirit, which had been upgraded to serve a specific purpose. I'm 100% certain of that. While my voice box was utilized by the machine spirit, the communion gave me partial access to some routines. So it is not an AI? It is not an abominable intelligence. It is something extraordinary. By sacred digital apotheosis and uploading rituals, a penitent soul became part of this machine spirit. It was not the creation of a sentient intelligence, but the blessed fusion of man and machine. What are you doing now? Filing away the memories in the sonic requilleries. Giving you the coordinates I received from the machine spirit. Lord Klosterheim is currently in the research cloister. Inquisitor, Lord Klosterheim is heading toward an area marked as Forbidden. It is cut off from the dominion of the machine spirit. I'm on my way. I also need an explanation as to why anyone would tamper with the machine spirit in such an irregular way. Although the chances are infinitesimal, complex machinery may be vulnerable to the corruption of chaos. For some reason, Uther Tiberius wanted to reduce even that small chance to zero. I want to know more about that. Keep me updated. Inquisitor, I have analyzed the records of my communion. The administrator prayers in the digital marginalia indicate that Uther Tiberius fused an incorruptible soul with the machine. But that is impossible. Unless... unless you sacrifice someone who fought off a demon and became immune to corruption. Agreed. Subject would be a former demon host. Is that even permitted? I could list 136 sects within the Adeptus Mechanicus, which would start a doctrinal purge based solely on such a notion. 
But my sect has always believed in digital martyrdom. I consider this machine spirit a miracle. Now that you have access to the main port, I want you to find all records of demon hosts on the martyr. Inquisitor, I've just completed my diagnostic meditations and reviewed the data. We can safely rule out the infection as the cause of your hallucinations. Then what is it? My theory is that the visions might be residual memories leaking through a hasty mind scrub. They could have been triggered by certain phrases or events. That's nonsense. Stop obsessing about my mental condition. As you command, Inquisitor. your request. I have scoured the classified data looms on this deck. I think you ought to know that all research sanctums on this deck were assigned for demon host experiments for decades. What? Who's the Tiberius was creating demon hosts? The sheer number of subjects implies that he was trying to create a whole army of them. Uther Tiberius condemned a whole army to eternal suffering? Note that the attached confession scrolls clearly prove that most subjects were volunteers. They wanted to be filled with unholy essence, then fight the taint and return, immune to the chaos. But that is insane. I cannot comment on that. Eventually, the survival rate was deemed too low, and the project was abandoned. After decades of torture, he turned away from his own creations. The Emperor's light has found me. Any progress, Inquisitor? Looks like I'm closing in on Cloister Home. He may have an agenda, but at least he's cold himself. I'm in the research cloister, Tech Priest. Incorrect. You are only approaching the gate of the research cloister, currently under quarantine. By the Emperor, you must be the most pedantic specialist I've ever had. Comment far away for later evaluation. Proceed to the gate, Inquisitor. I found the remains of a dead tech priest. I suspect he is the one responsible for overriding the local systems. Search the body for additional information, Inquisitor. Sigma, 7, Omega, 3, 5, Alpha. Interesting. The machine spirit is trying to communicate with us again. That is the emergency code for the lockdown protocols. The research cloister has been quarantined. You might not be able to leave if you enter. I should return to my ship then, and make preparations before I enter that area. the quarantine logs, Inquisitor. The research cloister has been sealed off on account of demonic infestation. You won't be able to leave the facility until it is secure. Trust me, it will be secure soon. 
You really didn't remember anything, did you? Something is coming back, but it's unclear. I underwent a mind scrub, but... So, that is what you did eventually. You sacrificed yourself, but not in the way that I'd expected. Who are you? Who am I? You used to be my mentor. You were an inquisitor in pursuit of the greatest secret of the Caligari sector. The research of Uther Tiberius. I guess I didn't find it. Otherwise, we wouldn't be standing here. You got close. And you got careless. You made questionable choices that attracted the attention of first the Conclave, then the Grey Knights. And there is no escaping from the secret protectors of the Imperium. Only death absolves. Right? So that was your plan. You sacrificed your former self. And I have returned as someone else. You told me to take on your mantle, and I obeyed. Through pain and fire, I hunted relentlessly for the martyr. I did what you taught me. I fought, investigated, made packs and broke them when I had to. And when the warp spat out Uther's floating fortress monastery, I was ready to find it. And my path eventually led to the martyr as well. It cannot be a coincidence. Only the Emperor's will, because you found me now when I'm so very close to finding Uther's greatest secret. We must talk about this, but first, we purge this area. I'm ready for the sacrifice it takes, and should my plan succeed, we might meet again one day. Uther Tiberius wanted to create an army of former demon hosts? He sacrificed countless lives, sentenced them to damnation, only to make a handful of survivors immune to chaos? I think I know why the Martyr had to leave the Segmentum Pacificus. It's insane. A whole army of loyal warriors immune to the war, ready to conquer the Immaterium? Once he would have embraced the idea. I am not the same person. I pray to the Emperor that you are. Are you ready? Time to purge the unclean, Inquisitor. Side by side, like we used to. For the Emperor! Presence detected. Lockdown deactivated. Good work. Tell me, Cloisterheim, did you miss all this? I refuse to burden myself with redundant thoughts and emotions. But I admit, it was a satisfactory experience to fight that battle together. The research cloister is connected to Uther's inner sanctum. That is where Uther secreted away his most treasured research. Are you ready to enter? I need to return to my retinue first and make the necessary preparations. I'm not going to your ship. Trust me, where would I go? I will meet you here when you return. the inner sanctum. This is the genitorium that powers the various dissection chapels and the laboratoriums in the sanctum. But we are close. I need to know something, Inquisitor. How did you find a martyr? Are you looking for me? I wasn't even aware of my existence, remember? I was sent here to investigate the source of an ancient inquisitorial distress signal. It must have been the will of the Emperor, then. I am aware of that signal. 
mode was activated by the rebels during the inner strife against Tiberius. It only transmits from time to time when the strength bursts. on the wall. It resembles a demonic mark fused with Xenos and Imperial symbols. Uther called them Imperian Seals. He studied forbidden summoning rites and the arcane machines of a lost civilization, and combined them with sanctioned practices. The Seals trap the essence of destroyed demons, so they can't get back to the warp to reform. Uther wanted to conceal the existence of his secret weapon from the minions of Chaos, it feels far too close to heresy. What are you talking about? We must fight fire with fire. You taught me that. And I am not the same person anymore. You are different, Inquisitor. And yet you are the same. It is disturbing. I used to be the one hunting for the martyr. And now you have all the answers. That's disturbing. If it's any consolation, you were right all along. Uther Tiberius had a secret that could have changed the fate of the Imperium. And you have learned the nature of this secret, I assume? Indeed. It's a weapon with immense powers. The moment of retribution is here! I found some very old human remains here. They belong to the crew of the Martyr. When Uther's followers turned against him, the monastery was consumed by war. It crippled the ship eventually. discovered the truth about Uther's secret weapon? I have only heard rumors. The real answer lies here. I know that it could save the Imperium of Man from the tides of chaos, and that Uther Tiberius risked excommunication from the Inquisition to create this weapon. skills have become even more praiseworthy, Inquisitor. We earn salvation only through the annihilation of the unclean. You might have changed, but your perspective on our eternal crusade certainly hasn't. The inner sanctum is cut off from the rest of the ship, making it a black sight. Even the machine spirit doesn't have eyes or ears there. How do we get through the stasis field? I've seen similar security systems on the ship. The status field must be deactivated using two different terminals in different places at the same time. Tiberius was indeed quite protective of his secrets. Proceed to the first cogitator. It must be close. I'll find the other one. For the Emperor's very close to I've met some resistance. The genitorium seems to be populated by a degenerate tribe. An approaching 
new terminal that will deactivate the stasis field. Where are you? I'm having some problems with the feral tribes, but I'm close. to deactivate the stasis field. Are you ready? I'm under heavy fire, but I can access this terminal. Proceed. The stasis field is down. Head back here. I can't. The savages are bringing in some demonic reinforcements. I must retreat and find another way back. Proceed into the inner sanctum. I'll catch up with you. Cloisterheim, where are you? Can you hear me? Cloisterheim, if you can hear me, I'm heading towards the inner sanctum. Meet me there. Thorn, I found the body of a word bearer. The filth of Logar. What are they doing on the martyr? There is just one, and he looks dead. I was wrong. He is alive. Another traitor marine lies on the ground. In the filth where it belongs, I wish I could be fighting by your side. According to the message I found, there were more of them, and they were trying to extricate data from three specific cogitators. The word bearers are seekers of terrible secrets. I'd advise you to find out what they were looking for on the martyr. Splendid fight. Praise the Emperor. You have truly become a consecrated weapon down there. What was a chaos warband doing here all these years? Those maggots are specks of dust compared to true Adeptus Astartes. But they possess the same unique organs as we do. I see. They activated their Suan membranes to wait in hibernation until someone entered the area. Die unclean! New log entry. More Empyrean seals. But they are broken. Considering that these seals trap the essence of destroyed demons so they can't go back to the warp to reform, I don't like the implications. Yes. 
Inquisitor, you are approaching the coordinates of the first cogitator marked by the hostiles. Time to find out what they were looking for. Tech Priest, inload the flagged picked recording from this cogitator. This woman might be the key to Uther's secret experiments. In progress. Record is tagged as Alpha Trials and Pariah Research. Is she a psychic blank? The antithesis of a psycho? Did Uther Tiberius test his secret weapon on someone without any presence in the warp? Commencing analysis. Inquisitor. You are approaching the second cogitator. Recoil, unclean. Pit recording inloaded and immediately categorized as extreme anomaly. It is incredible. A soulless one absorbing psychic energy is normal, but she's deflecting the attacks. I have never seen anything like this. Whatever she is, this would explain the interest of those traitorous maggots. It sounds like something the word bearers would want to have. Inquisitor, the analysis of the security logs is complete. Area closed down due to a hostile incursion 3.64 standard Imperial years ago. Intruders identified as word bearers. So, there was a whole war band. They came here to find something. They were trapped on the ship. Perish, filth! Inquisitor, you are approaching the third cogitator. Tech Priest, I have no new records to send you, but I've discovered that even Uther's people found that strange test subject extremely disturbing. Total absence of information in the accessible data looms on the Martyr. The existence of the subject has been erased from the archives. Whatever this creature is, she must have been Uther's greatest secret. I must find out more. I have analyzed the previous inloads. The binary illuminations in PIC recordings contain the encrypted coordinates where the subject was held during the tests. Tell me. Decryption complete. The location of the inner sanctum is at your disposal. Perfect. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I lost your signal in that nightmarish tribal camp. I liberated some captured members of my expedition. Where are you? I'm in 
innocent. In a scriptorium, I suppose. Uther Tiberius had his own secluded laboratory there, where he must have kept his personal cogitator. Find that room. On your first time. Several Imperian seals have been destroyed. My guess is it was the work of the word bearers. The trap demons are loose. Expect heavy resistance on your way in. What? Word bearers? On the martyr? The most disturbing thing is that they seem to be aware of the secret too. sent us his servant to suffer the most glorious torture imaginable. Spare me the monologue, creature, and prepare to die. Tell me, Inquisitor, what did you expect to find here? I was led here by dark prophecies and magnificent fever dreams. But you? You have no idea what we are about to unleash on your Imperium. Enough of your gibberish. Die. Power of chaos! I'm not yet worthy of the Emperor's games. Kill the Inquisitor! Kill the Inquisitor now! The moment of retribution is here! Inquisitor. I have located Uther's personal cogitator. First, I had to explain to the word bearer of filth that they are not allowed to touch it. I am still worried about their presence on the ship. Access the cogitator immediately. What have you found? The proof we needed. Uther's secret weapon was a unique pariah who was capable of the impossible. She didn't just banish demons, she utterly destroyed them. By the Emperor! That could have been the most powerful weapon against the filth of chaos. And she could have had a significant impact on the fate of the Sector, or the whole Imperium. We need to know what happened to her. Uther Tiberius had a meditation chamber in the Sanctum, where he must have kept his personal notes. Find that room. Personal log entry. The captain of the Martyr, the most loyal follower of Uther Tiberius, was a certain Van Winter. It can't be a coincidence. Is this the Emperor's will? Or should I suspect some mysterious connection to my erased past? I need to look into this.
on Oysterheim. I found proof about the rebellion that tore the Martyr apart. In the light of your recent discoveries, it all makes sense. I don't know how Uther found or created this pariah creature, but his followers must have turned against him afterwards. They were diehard radicals, willing to condemn hundreds to death so they could create an army of ex-demon hosts. Imagine what could have made them rebel. I don't care. They were cowards, and Tiberius was right. Cloisterheim, I'm in Uther's meditation chamber. I can see a journal. Open it. Have you read the journal? I have, and it contains some surprising revelations. Even Uther Tiberius was horrified by the powers of the Alpha Pariah. That's what he called her. Did he kill her? No, he locked her away in the main stasis chamber. Which means that she must still be alive. This is incredible. And we have a Chaos Sorcerer on the ship who knows about her too. I'm on my way to the chamber. I'm almost there. I'll meet you at the entrance. Together again, at last. Are you ready? The secret of the Martyr is within arm's reach. Just imagine the possibilities if the Alpha Pariah is still there, in stasis. Now you are talking, like the Inquisitor I used to know. Let's go to the stasis chamber. At your command! I see you found reinforcements against the word bearers. These men are the members of my expedition. I thought they were killed. I was wrong. think about this Alpha Pariah? What could it be? Uther Tiberius wanted to create an army of former demon hosts, resistant to the powers of the warp. At some point, he must have realized that it was not working. Or he realized that an army needs a commander. 
I don't know if the Alpha Pariah was someone he found during his journey, or if he obtained her through some dark means, but eventually, he had her in his grasp. And now his legacy will be ours. Behold the words of the prophecy! In the darkest reaches of the void, on the cursed monastery hidden among the living storms, here is the anathema that shall be destroyed. I will make the revelation come true. Not while I breathe, creature. Death to the servants of the corpse emperor. For the emperor! Eternity, you treacherous fire abomination. For the Emperor! Are you ready to open the gate? Wait, I see human remains. One of Uther's acolytes by the looks of it. Let's take a look. Anything useful? That is an understatement. Now we know that Uther Tiberius was gravely wounded during the rebellion in the monastery. His trusted men decided to take him off the martyr, with a certain Captain Van Winter at the helm of the rescue ship. He had secured the secret weapon before he fell, though. By the Emperor, what is this? Remarkable. It looks like a barrier of pure psychic energy. A tapestry of madness made substance. Another example of Uther's arcane designs, I suppose. Are you ready to enter? I have died for this secret once. I must be the one who walks through that barrier. By the grace of Emperor, I cannot enter. Did you see anything? She is there. The Alpha Pariah is inside. So close, and yet unreachable. There must be a way. No, you were right. This barrier was designed by Uther himself. 
and he made sure that nobody can enter without his authorization. The barrier can only be disabled with his inquisitorial rosette. But a rosette is the personal symbol of our authority. Each rosette is unique, and Uther has been dead for centuries. It is impossible. You are telling me that it was all in vain? We have failed. No. Uther Tiberius was taken from the Martyr to an unknown destination, and I will find where that place is. I am an Inquisitor. Nothing can remain hidden from me. I will uncover that rosette, even if I have to burn down the whole sector. What is our next step? We are treading on dangerous ground. Uther Tiberius was so obsessed with fighting the powers of chaos that he ventured too far. Even his most trusted followers turned against him when they realized what he was planning to do. Who cares about ignorant fools? You must surely be aware of what the Alpha Pariah could become. Uther Tiberius wanted to destroy the gods of chaos so desperately that he decided to create a god of his own. Yes, I understand. And this is why we must continue his work. For the Emperor. The very existence of the Alpha Pariah borders on heresy. The doctrines must be upheld at all costs. But this is our destiny. You have already sacrificed your life to protect Uther's legacy. And now you are willing to throw it away? I will do no such thing. I will find the Rosette and take the Alpha Pariah to an inquisitorial facility where no one can usurp her powers. This needs to be brought to the attention of the Conclave. I will not allow that. You have failed our cause. I cannot let you leave. I wish there could have been another way. Captain, are you serious? You want me to believe that you didn't know that the founder of your rogue traitor house was the captain of the Martyr centuries ago? I swear by the light of the God Emperor Inquisitor that I am just as shocked by this revelation as you are. I need a better explanation, Captain. Inquisitor. Our house has followed strict traditions for long centuries. One of those traditions concerns our sacred history. Our ancestral secrets were kept in a treasured logbook, only accessible by the Van Winter sitting on the throne of the house. And who would that be? Nobody. Almost my entire clan has been purged on account of their heretical acts. I was found worthy of redemption, and I'm assisting the work of the Inquisition as a simple captain. Do you think your logbook could help me? Yes. It has been in our possession since Gregor Van Winter, the man whose trail you seek, received the warrant of trade. It must contain all his accounts, too. What happened to that logbook? It was hidden on our flagship, the Astute Cavalier, but it disappeared when my father was executed. The logbook must still be in the hold, in a secret compartment. So, I only have to find a fugitive ship in the sector. Sounds easy. My family had a hideout in this subsector on a void station. Those who survived the purge probably ended up there. And strangely, it didn't occur to you to share this information with the Inquisition. No, don't answer that. Take me to the void station. This place is a despicable hive of heresy and corruption. Our crew members became wanted fugitives after the purge. They found refuge and sought to make a livelihood the best way they could. It still won't absolve them from their sins against the Imperium. What should I be looking for? Each of our void stations had a harbor master to supervise the operation of the port facilities. If the Cavalier still frequents this place, which I'm sure it does, this man must know its whereabouts. Inquisitor, if I may, do you think that if I help you find the logbook, it could clear my name? I seriously doubt it. Herman Van Winter was found guilty in trafficking heretical artifacts and consorting with forbidden cults. 
Your entire house was deemed to be an accessory to the crime. With all due respect, Inquisitor, I knew my father. He was a sly old fox, a trader who refused neither coin nor adventure, but he was a true servant of the Imperium. The Holy Ordos thought otherwise. That's your man, the Harbour Master. He doesn't look too talkative. The Harbour Master refused interrogation. Tell me he wasn't my only lead. Maybe not. All our Harbour Masters used to log everything into a central cogitator. I find that cogitator. Captain, are you familiar with a man called Nathaniel Grexus? He was my father's most trusted captain. A boisterous fellow, but a good man. Your former house members made a pact with a cult, and he refused to follow them into total depravity. They keep him locked up here somewhere. I would humbly suggest that you find him, then. He could be useful. Captain Grexus, I need you to come with me. I need a few bottles of Amasek to invigorate my weary soul. And then, I'm off to kill all these mongrels. They have already paid for their crimes, Captain. Ah. I hope you made them suffer. How can I assist you then? I must find the astute cavalier, who might have visited this station. It was here, I, Until these sniveling rats sold our flagship to a group of abhuman filth. Oh. Do you know where the cruiser is now? No, but I've heard rumors about where it's heading. Take me with you and I can help. My sweet Ragna. What a cheerful sight for these sore eyes. Captain Grexus, I haven't seen you since you vanished without a trace. Right after you were proved innocent. It was shameful of me, I know. But I simply couldn't bear to witness how others suffered for your father's misgivings. You are talking about a house purged for charges of heresy. House Van Winter was filled with shady elements, no question about that. 
Some of them even kept me as a prisoner. Your point being? Not all of them are backstabbing scoundrels. Ragnar deserves a clean slate, and you won't find a better ally in the sector. Apart from old Grexis, of course. Start with telling me where I can find the Cavalier. I overheard my former crew members gossiping about this cult, and a world they were planning to visit with the ship. I'll give your navigator the coordinates. You have led me to a world with a full-scale demonic outbreak and no cavalier in the docks. Explain. They must have changed her name. And how are you planning to find her? Grexus, you seem to be oddly untroubled by recent events. My unrelenting devotion to the Emperor keeps my spirits high. That and your bottle is at Emerson. We all cope in our own different ways. I want to live to serve the Imperium. What were you thinking? I will accompany you, Grexus. With all due respect, Inquisitor, someone needs to fend off the tide of chaos while I sit down with these esteemed gentlemen for a nice chit-chat. You are truly trying my patience. Thing is, I can't see anyone else here with the proper credentials to do this. I'll take care of the filth. Hurry up, Grexus. How are you faring out there, Inquisitor? Did you find your contacts, Grexus? Waiting for my security screening. These highborn captains are a suspicious lot. Teleport Deacon in range. Grexus, I need an update. You are really taking your time. Do you have any idea how hard it is to obtain an audience with these people? In a palace surrounded by chaos? Tell them that the Inquisition is taking care of the situation. Now! I have some splendid rumors for you, Inquisitor. Do you know where the ship went? What? Not yet. But these captains have some interesting stories about a Herman Van Winter. Did you know that he got his mittens on a rare artifact? A strange navigational tool of questionable origin? That's where all his troubles began. I'm not in the mood for your tales. Get me to the Cavalier. Aye, Inquisitor. By the time you're finished with the invaders, I'll have the coordinates. The moment of retribution is here. All clear, Grexus. I'm still waiting for the coordinates you promised. Allow me to express the gratitude of the noble captains with a piece of valuable information. Do you know the location of the Cavalier, Grexus? Something like that, I. These gentlemen have narrowed it down to one potential destination. Your tech priest will receive the data log soon. Your cooperation is highly appreciated, Captain. Does that mean I'm free to go? As far as I'm concerned, you were never implicated in the Van Winter investigation. You can leave. It was a pleasure working with you, Inquisitor. If you need any help in the future, come and find me. I'll get my old ship back, and I'll be out there, among the stars. <laughs> All Imperial Vox channels are reporting a serious demonic incursion. This world is teetering on the brink of destruction. Which indicates that the Cavalier could still be here. 
Those accursed cultists spread the taint of chaos like a disease. The Arbeis channels keep repeating the name of their leader, the Blood Drinker. I may have arrived just in time. I'll find him and interrogate him about the Cavalier. entry. This is way more than the machinations of some mad cultists. It's the word bearers again. But this time, they had knowledge of the martyr and Uther's secret, and they were hunting for Herman Van Winter. That Chaos Sorcerer are defeated also had ties to Raxus, the Chaos Sorcerer in charge of this unholy operation. Repent! Captain, I have new information regarding your father's fate. Please tell me it's good news. Your father did indeed acquire Chaos Artifact from the Word Bearers. So, it's not good at all. I strongly suspect that those monsters tried to corrupt your father, probably to get their hands on the logbook. It's not over yet, Captain. Kill the heretic! The infamous blood drinker. The man, the myth, the target. I'll take him out, but I'll use non-lethal methods. I have the cultist leader in custody. He is incapacitated. Take him to the ship, and have the Magos Balogus prepare the necessary serums. Understood, Inquisitor. The interrogation was successful, Inquisitor. The subject embraced the biochemical gifts of the Omnisire wholeheartedly. You can find my report on your data slate. Give me an outline now. The Chaos Cult that acquired the Cavalier was following the commands of a Chaos Sorcerer I won't utter its name. It burns my tongue like bile. So, they were spreading the taint on the order of the word bearers. That sorcerer recently ordered the Cavalier to return to their headquarters. I have the location for you. On the Cavalier, it doesn't look good, Captain. The cultists clearly didn't believe in regular maintenance protocols. Those filthy scoundrels. Let us hope that they will see the error of their ways soon. First, I will take care of the word bearer scum. Then I will find the logbook.
what a surprise. Did you come to witness our victory, Inquisitor? I came to serve you the Emperor's justice, just like I did with your foul brothers. Hapetic creature! You cannot stop what is coming, even if you kill every one of us, which you won't. into your father's case. These word bearers were acting on orders from a sorcerer I encountered on the martyr. They were trying to find Uther's rosette and lured your father into a trap to reach their goal. In the light of these details, is there any chance that the name of my family could be cleared? Your father acted irresponsibly, but he was not a willing servant of chaos. We'll see. First, I need that logbook. Go to my father's private quarters and find his personal cogitator. It will open the chamber where he kept his most treasured possessions. The door is open. I'm going inside. I have found the logbook, but it won't open. Take the log back to the ship, Inquisitor. It can only be opened by my ancestral signet ring, which is coded to my DNA. I have opened the logbook, Inquisitor. It was extraordinary. I held in my hands the entire secret history of my house. I trust it will make fascinating reading, but for now, I only need the details about Uther Tiberius. I can tell you where Gregor Van Winters took the survivors of the Martyr, but that happened a very, very long time ago. It is the only lead I have. Take us to those coordinates, Captain. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Meanwhile, you have a message from the Conclave. This is a message from Inquisitor Helena Gosler. I must tell you, I was in charge of purging the Van Winter family. I have learned that you have reopened the investigation, and in all honesty, I find your decision perplexing. All my actions followed the decrees of the Lex Imperialis and spiritual guidance gained through rigorous penitential practices. Now it falls upon you to make a new decision regarding the future of this house. Captain, I have made my decision regarding the fate of your house. Even if your father made his pacts with no heretical intentions, it won't absolve him of trafficking with the enemy. His punishment was just, and it should remain in effect. I understand your decision, Inquisitor. I only hope that I can serve your cause in the future with such dedication that you will reconsider my case.
What is this place exactly? According to the port cogitators, it used to be a mining station. Then it was turned into a colossal plague ward during a system-wide outbreak. I need more information on its history. I will locate the central cogitator. It may be able to tell me more. I have been reading through the logbook, Inquisitor, and I have found something interesting. Is it about Uther Tiberius? In a way, yes. My ancestor, Gregor van Winter, founded our house not long after he brought Tiberius to this place. Gregor received his warrant of trade due to the influence of some new Inquisitors in the Caligari Conclave, who used to travel on his ship and who vouched for him. It means that the most loyal followers of Uther quietly return to the Inquisition after the fall of the Master. This might warrant a future investigation. I have found the central cogitator. I found an area previously classified as a shrine, but it was sealed off almost a thousand years ago. If this place used to be a sanctuary for Uther, his followers must have walled off his most private chambers after he died, or left. I'm on my way there. Inquisitor. Per your request, a search was initiated in our data troves, looking for information on the system, dating back millennia. What did you find? Original registration marks Mining Station 121 as a Type 4 monastery. Status was obtained three standard years after the alleged arrival of Tiberius. Status was later changed to Mining Station, then to Plague Ward by Inquisitorial Orders. So, Uther's followers made their sanctuary disappear under piles of dead bodies. Clever. The Emperor's light has found him. I have found the gate leading to those ancient corridors. It is sealed. Proceed to the cogitator to open it. Follow my instructions. indicate that the gate was accessed several times over the last few decades. Great. I wonder what I'll find inside. Inquisitor, a cruiser is approaching the station. It is broadcasting on inquisitorial Vox channels. Their authentication is genuine. They will be landing soon. This must be the right place. It looks like a tomb, but it is empty. But if these Utherians laid their leader to rest here, where is the body? Do you request a primer on the rate of human decomposition over millennia? Don't try my patience, Tech Priest. Even the bones are missing. I'll take a look around.
I have found proof that this place was raided by an inquisitorial team. They took away Uther's remains, but why? The survivors suspected treachery. That I know. You have visitors. The inquisitorial ship dispatched a team to the station, and they're heading towards your position. I'll meet them halfway. I am Interrogator Koltar. You are in breach of Code Indigo Protocols, Inquisitor. Even the agents of the Holy Orders need a special permit to enter this area. I must ask you to lay down your weapons and follow me into custody. How dare you address me like this? I will do no such a thing, Interrogator. My sincere apologies, Inquisitor. But I must follow me orders. You have left me no choice. Kill him! up where we left off, shall we? Please, Inquisitor. I was only following the orders of Inquisitor Flavius Draken. Why would an Inquisitor send agents against other Inquisitors? My orders were extremely specific. After Inquisitor Draken removed the body buried in this tomb, he set up a team to monitor the station and act immediately if the area is breached. Inquisitor Flavius Draken took away the remains? Where can I find this man? The last time we had contact, he was preparing for a special assignment. The Conclave must have records on his mission. Trust me, I'll find him. We have a message for you, Inquisitor, and the coordinates of a world in the subsector. I have received your request, Inquisitor. I would strongly recommend that you provide more details on the background of your inquiry next time. Still, I see no harm in disclosing the current whereabouts of Inquisitor Draken. Your fellow agent is currently doing the Emperor's work on a world consumed by the flames of the war against Chaos. A whole planet cleansed with blood. They could surely use the help of other Inquisitors. to find an Inquisitor in the middle of a war zone. Draken's last known location was at the command center. In the meantime, the unclean maggots have surrounded the fortifications. Should I fight an entire army on my own? You carry the Emperor's will as your torch. You can destroy the armies of darkness. Any suggestions how? I've been listening in on the Astra Militarum Vox chatter. They have a Shadow Sword tank, ready to break the blockade near your location. Then I will requisition that tank. At your com- Attention, Guardsmen! Inquisitor taking command! At ease, Commander. Awaiting your orders, Inquisitor! By the powers vested in me, I hereby requisition your vehicle. Take me through the enemy lines to the command center. Yes, Inquisitor! With an agent of the Holy Orders among us, we have nothing to fear. I know it goes without saying, Inquisitor, but we will do everything we can to help. We would follow your commands whatever the situation, but on top of that, you are looking for Flavius Draken. The man is a hero to us! You are probably aware of Draken's reputation around here, Inquisitor, but allow me to clarify. Draken is a legend among us. When we win this war, our victory will be due in no small part to him. Hope you don't mind me saying, but Flavius Draken is one of the most cold-blooded Inquisitors I've ever seen. 
But he must be, I suppose. Inquisitor Draken is the protector of this world. I've heard rumors that he even had his own fortress built round here. Point Inquisitor, the Emperor's blessing be upon you. They will need your help in there. They've arrived too late. The enemy has already captured the command center. I'd strongly suggest you find the communications room. There must be some evidence of what happened to the defenders. Come on my way. Communication center. I'll check the logs for the last few Vox messages. The situation is very grave. The traitor marines have destroyed the defenses. I even found a knight on the list of casualties. Those mongrels have destroyed a combat walker. Curses be upon them. The traitors took prisoners. I'm going to rescue them. There is still hope that someone has information about Draken. the heretic. The prisoners are still alive. Those slithering traitors spared them so they could torture them. And brainwash them into servitude. They will pay for this. Praise the Emperor! You have saved us all from a terrible fate, Inquisitor. I'm only doing the Emperor's work. I must find Inquisitor Draken. Is he here? Inquisitor Draken had to make a decision, and he made it with a very heavy heart. When he realized that the city could not be saved, but the rest of our world still has a fighting chance, he has returned to his fortress. He is keeping the main Chaos forces occupied until reinforcements arrive. Ambrose Caradoc, the pilot of the Crimson Wanderer, at your service. Well met, sir. You are a free blade, aren't you? A lonesome warrior reporting for duty. Sir Caradoc, roaming the sector, fighting our enemies, and aiding the helpless. Did the traitorous scum really destroy your knight? They had something more obscene in mind. But that would have taken longer, and I know in my heart that the Crimson Wanderer is still waiting for me in the hangar. I must reach Draken's fortress immediately. You need to cross the city to get there, and it has become a ruined battlefield, crawling with armies of monstrosities. But don't lose heart, Inquisitor. The true gifts of the Emperor come at the most unexpected moments. What do you have in mind, Sir Cardoc? This is a quest worthy of the Crimson Wanderer. 
I will take it upon myself to fight my way through the battlefield and clear your way to the fortress. All set, Inquisitor! The Crimson Wanderer, this magnificent relic of our glorious past, is ready to strike down the unclean and the corrupted. I will guide my knight to the very gates of Draken's fortress. So, you wanted to know more about me? I forsook my house and became a free blade a very long time ago. Alas, I cannot give you a satisfying reason for my decision. I am bound by the oath of secrecy, you see, for reasons that I won't divulge at the moment. I understand that you have more questions. Sadly, I mustn't talk about my house. I gave up our heraldry for a reason. My oath prevents me from discussing my past, but I still dream about our proud castles, the mighty ramparts, forges, and furnaces, the ranks of our proud knights marching against the enemy. We thwarted countless invasions by the foul Xenos, you know. I'm approaching Draken's subterranean fortress. I've been monitoring the local Vox channels, and I've learned that the Inquisitor is very hard-pressed to keep the tide at bay. He sent out a special team on an assignment, and they haven't returned yet. You should be more than welcome there. We have arrived. Soon I will place a teleport beacon here, so you can jump straight to the gates any time you like. I cannot follow you any further, Inquisitor. Rest assured, though, that I won't stray too far while you are down here. The fortress is under siege. The gates have been destroyed, and I see signs of heavy fighting. The attackers couldn't have ventured too deep. They must have broken through the defenses only recently. What about Flavius Draken? I think that Inquisitor Draken is still alive. I'm monitoring all Vox channels, and I would have heard about his demise. Then I will find him as soon as possible. Inquisitor, those traitorous weaklings of the Alpha Legion have amassed a colossal fighting force. They're about to launch a new attack. I can hardly wait. Underground, Captain, in a besieged inquisitorial fortress. You might lose the box signal. Forgive me for asking, but do inquisitors have their own fortresses? Sometimes an inquisitor needs a base of operations for armories, supply depots, and vaults. Have you ever been tempted to have one of your own? Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a fortress one day.
Inquisitor. That's what I call perfect timing. Did the Conclave send you? No. I came on my own volition. After all, you have tried to have me killed. Ah. You must be the one who sent my interrogator fleeing. The time of reckoning has come, has it not? It seems so. Do you want to execute me? Will you make it look like I perished during the battle? That's what I would do. I don't doubt it. At the moment, I only want to talk to you, Draken, about Uther Tiberius. You really chose the most untimely moment to interrogate me. I'll make sure that you survive, and I'll get my answers after that. Sounds reasonable. I'll take care of this side. You deal with the rest. Get ready! The moment of retribution The traitors are launching here. a full-scale attack against the fortress, Inquisitor! I will wade into the dark tide with blazing weapons! down their leader. If you cut off the head, the rest will flee. You have to keep them at bay until then. What carnage. But if certain death is all that awaits me here, I will gladly make that covenant. Keep fighting, Inquisitor. I'm on my way to their leader. through the fire and flames to deliver the Emperor's justice. Their despicable leader has fallen! Inquisitor, you'd make a valuable ally, or a fearsome adversary. What do you want to know about Uther Tiberius? You removed his vestiges from his tomb, and you set up a kill team to protect the secret. I want to know where Uther's remains are. You are looking for Uther's sacred vestiges, but you seem to have no idea what you're dealing with. I won't tell you anything, Inquisitor. Draken, I've been following the trail of Uther Tiberius for a very long time. Believe me, what I found on the Mater could have grave consequences for the Imperium. So talk to me. What? You have visited Uther's sacred monastery? Forgive me, I, I didn't realize. You must be the one our mutual friend mentioned. My sincerest apologies. I thought he was mistaken. Where are the remains? The tomb wasn't secure anymore. The guardian of the corpus became weak and old, just like our order. I had to make a hard decision. We had to transfer the sacred vestiges to a safer place. It's on a moon. A moon that isn't even charted. You can find the coordinates in the cogitator. I find your methods harmful, and your loyalty questionable. I appreciate the help you gave me, but I cannot allow your practices. You must perish.
Captain, I have all the answers I was looking for. I'm on my way back. Inquisitor, we have arrived at the coordinates you gave me. You also have a message from the Conclave. We have received reports of your recent encounter with Inquisitor Draken. We appreciate the way you handled the situation. We are aware that Draken exceeded his authority in certain cases, and we will make sure he is justly reprimanded for his actions. But you seem to understand that our work often requires some adjustments to the decrees. We see huge potential in you, Inquisitor. Where are we, Captain? Honestly, I have no idea. This moon doesn't appear in any Imperial records, although it houses an Ecclesiarchy Cathedral. Anything else I should be aware of? Our Argus keep picking up disturbing warp signatures from this segment of the Void. However, there is an Imperial Fortress defending the Cathedral. It could hold the answers you need. Inquisitor, we see signs of recent struggle everywhere. Whatever this place is, it has been ravaged by chaos recently, and the hostiles must still be here. Noted. I will explore the area first. Inquisitor, we're having a hard time keeping the ship a safe distance from the warp anomaly. Do you have any idea what this place could be? A moon that has been erased from the archives. Also, it is right in the vicinity of a warp anomaly, which shelters the cathedral from any psychic divination. It's a clever hiding place. In other words, it is one of the most well-hidden reliquaries in the sector. Indeed. It could also mean that Uther's followers had considerable influence in Pompeii. Inquisitor, the sensors located an Imperial distress signal emanating close to your location. Who is transmitting? Identification codes mark the sender as a member of the Ecclesiarchy. I'll look into it. Received. Situation critical in the fort. All armored personnel deceased. The servant of the Ecclesiarchy has been relocated to a dedicated shelter.
by the grace of the Emperor, an inquisitorial agent at last. In my darkest hours, I almost believed that you had abandoned us. Who are you, and what happened here? I am Brother Tilhart, and I am a sinner. Sinners we all were. We brought this upon us. We should have never have brought a holy relic to this forsaken moon. Could you be more specific, priest? You don't have to worry, Inquisitor. We all went through proper mind-cleansing rituals. Rest assured, I don't remember the name of the Imperial Saint. At least that information is still secure. Who gave you this assignment? A most revered agent of the Holy Ordos. He never told us his name. When did the filth of chaos arrive? When the ancient Anchor engines first manifested problems, I begged my brothers to seek assistance from the cult Mechanicus, but they didn't listen. And then the rotten stigma flared up, the machine started to slow down, and suddenly the moon was teeming with these accursed traitors. Where are they? I'm afraid they have entered the cathedral, but I can tell you the whereabouts of a secret entrance. You must stop them. You should go to my ship. My oath prevents me from leaving this place, Inquisitor, but I'll stay in contact with you all along the way. Inquisitor, you have entered the vaults of the Blessed Machines. Stop those creatures before they destroy the Anchor Engines. What kind of machinery would that be? The Blessed Instruments crafted by the Cult Mechanicus. They channel the powers of prayers and alleviate warp energies to prevent this moon from drifting into the heart of the Anomaly. In other words, I cannot let the Black Legion destroy them. Act before it's too late! Face them in the engine rooms before they bring destruction on everything here! Worth a teal heart. Is there anything I should know about these sacred machines? You must be exceptionally careful in the main engine room. We could only imagine what would happen if the Blessed Anchors were destroyed. You mean besides being swallowed by the warp surge? There have been omens. We have been plagued by holy premonitions about a sudden upsurge in the anomaly. Premonitions? I saw a colossal tear in the void and an unrelenting flow of madness spewing through the hole. Inquisitor, we have detected an incoming Voidcraft. The vessel is approaching the moon at considerable speed. Stay alert and keep me updated. You are too late, mortal. Your ridiculous machine will be destroyed. We will open up the wound. You only wish, creature. Inquisitor! The whole moon is trembling! The Emperor's wrath is upon us! The rest of the traitors must still be in the main engine room. I'm on my way. Inquisitor! 
The incoming vessel is transmitting inquisitorial authentication codes. They are asking us to surrender. Tell them that you have engine malfunctions. I'll deal with them later. Destroying the anchor machines. The tide of darkness is upon us. Fight, Inquisitor. Fight until death grants you eternal glory. And is here. What is happening, Inquisitor? The machines have been seriously damaged. We are doomed then. Sooner or later, the warp will engulf this moon for good. I'm returning to my ship to deal with another urgent matter. Are you ready to join me? I cannot leave, Inquisitor. I took an oath, and I will not leave. The Inquisitorial ship is in orbit around the moon. If we don't surrender, they will purge my ship on charges of heresy. I don't understand. I've already warned them that we have an Inquisitor on board. I will talk to the Inquisitor in charge. What are you going to do? I can't engage a ship belonging to the Holy Ordos. The Inquisition is a colossal organization with several factions. It must be an unrelated operation. It happens. They must be investigating the warp anomaly. They have dispatched a dropship to the Cathedral as we speak. Interesting. Maybe it's not about the anomaly, but Uther's vestiges. I'll return to the moon. Inquisitor, you have returned to the Sepulchre. You are truly blessed with zeal in perish. I have no choice but to recover that relic before catastrophe strikes. You are running out of time. I will pray for you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, you are interfering with my investigation. I must command you to leave. No. You will surrender immediately, and I will take the vestiges. This is an order from the highest ranks of the Conclave. I seriously doubt it. My investigation has been sanctioned by Lord Maldor since the earliest stages. And I have been ordered to intervene by Lord Maldor personally. Your decisions have made him question your commitment to our cause. He thinks that you are an agent with a dubious agenda, and you cannot be trusted with a relic of such importance. He has commanded that I take over. Absolutely not. This is my mission. This is my fate. I will not allow this. You leave me no choice, Inquisitor. This is the tomb of Uther Tiberius. It is somewhat underwhelming. I finally have his rosette. But where is his body? We have never seen the body. We were sworn to protect the sacred relic alone. Even in his death, Uther Tiberius presents another mystery. You must leave, Inquisitor. Don't be concerned about me. I will stand guard here. What will happen to you? I will begin the most glorious task of my long servitude. I will keep watch on that gaping wound in the void. I will toll the bells and call our holy warriors here to fight the endless tides of destruction. May the Emperor give you strength, brother. I see festering nightmares walking the decks. Bloated bodies swollen with foul corruption. Creatures that no longer feel pain. The martyr is in danger. I must return immediately. Inquisitor, we have returned to the coordinates of the martyr. I'm afraid there have been some troubling developments. Explain, Captain. 
We have detected a void ship in the service of chaos near the Martyr. Sensorium data shows that Uther's monastery is teeming with the forces of Nurgle. This is not a raiding party, but a full-scale invasion inquisitor. What is your plan? The Martyr has become an infested war zone. I cannot open up the stasis chamber at the moment. It would be too hazardous. I will deal with Nurgle's filth first. Inquisitor, the Martyr has begun transmitting bursts of new spheric bleed. It is a call for help initiated by the machine spirit. The message asserts that the main cogitator room is under attack. Sequential shutdown in progress. Those sick beasts are trying to destroy the brain and soul of the Martyr. I'm on my way. Kill the heretic. Inquisitor. Secondary computational litanies show an exponentially growing demonic presence on the ship. What? Where are those demons coming from? Unknown. I have arrived at the main cogitator room. Another burst of new sphere bleed received. Decoder prayer wheels activated. Inquisitor, you have been granted access to the data crux in the main cogitator room. And what might that be? A data reliquary. High clearance information storage which can be opened exclusively by the Tiberius Rosette with the tag Alpha Subject. It sounds like the machine spirit is giving me access to the most important records on the Alpha Pariah. Indeed. The machine spirit has calculated the chances of a total system malfunction. It is 98.5% and growing. The moment of retribution is here. Primary objective completed. Triggering secondary objective. I'm about to access that data crux. Tech Priest, I need you to activate your most complex security protocols. I will be transferring an extremely sensitive cogitator file. I have found something that could put the entire Alpha Pariah project into perspective. Secondary brain functions rerouted to execute holy chance of encryption. I also need an update on the current situation. Situation is critical. Sensors indicate a growing number of localized bursts of warp energies on the ship. Give me the location of the closest anomaly. Tech Priest, you are right. The Plague Marines are destroying the Empyrean seals. Destroyed seals are transforming into local warp gates. Explains the growing ratio of infestation. I must destroy these... What are they? The material questions? Before it's too late. Inquisitor, your chances of successfully reducing the threat level on the entire ship have been reduced to 0.67%. That is not how you raise the morale, Tech Priest. The Imperian seals form a complex matrix on the Martyr. The destruction of the seals fractured the matrix, releasing a constant tide of demons onto the ship. At this rate, the Martyr has an 87.67% chance of turning into a demon engine. I cannot allow a ship-sized demon engine to roam the sector. Destroying the pustules on this subdeck might buy you some extra time. I'm 
allow me to introduce myself. I am the prophet of decay, harbinger of plague and pestilence, servant of the mighty Nurgle, and I bid you welcome. How do you like your new fortress, the Martyr? Trust me, you will soon regret coming here, you fool. I'm actually baffled by your lack of manners, creature. My only wish is to make a deal with you without resorting to violence. I know that you are trying to find a creature which shouldn't exist. I want the thing out of my ship, see? We can help each other. And if you refuse, I have ways of destroying that entire section of the ship. Thanks to its shielding, you can do nothing that would harm the chamber. Are you truly willing to risk that possibility? I don't think so. I believe that we might come to some understanding. Come and meet me on Subject Basis 7. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. Inquisitor, are you absolutely certain about this? You will be walking into a trap. Of course it is a trap, but at least I can kill that prophet and the whole world. You know these creatures better than me, and you will do the same. By the Emperor, yes. Charge into the middle of that toxic, unholy gathering and smash them to bloody pieces. Absolutely. But I am Astartes. And I am an Inquisitor. I shall fear nothing, for I am what they fear. Inquisitor, you are entering another data reliquary of the Martyr. Access the data crux for useful information. Captain, I need an update on that Chaos ship. We are prepared for evasive maneuvers, but the ship has remained stationary. How did they find the Martyr at all? The ship was a nest of Nurgle before I arrived, and I have destroyed countless demons on the decks. All of them reformed in the warp not long after the demons. And this has drawn the attention of their god to the ship? Something like that, yes. It must have been enough to allow Nurgle's plague sorcerers to find the Martyr.
asked me to convey a message. This is what I'm reduced to, an errand boy. He is analyzing the data signals received from the Marta at the moment. Ah, you do speak their language. Anyway, he asked me to warn you. 99.2% of the Empyrean Seals have been corrupted by the plague-infested scum. And the situation is really bad. The way I see it, it leaves you with a much easier task. Kill that prophet, destroy the warband, and get to the chamber. For the Emperor! Welcome to my humble abode, Inquisitor. The Prophet of Decay will grant you an audience now. What do you want, creature? How about this? I don't want to destroy the ship, nor the stasis chamber. But I will if you don't comply. Whatever happens to the ship, Uther's barrier will keep the Alpha Pariah safe. Completely possible. Tiberius was a clever one. And unlike your kind, he was in fact bold enough to experiment beyond your foolish limitations. But what if you are wrong? You are just babbling now. Right. Right. See, the heart of the Kira Psychic Barrier he created is a seal with one of us trapped inside. Even if I break all of the seals, I need his rosette to open up the Prime Seal. Is that all you can offer? Why? I want to liberate the Great One. And you want that fake in the chamber. Let's make a deal then. You give me the rosette. And I leave Uther's unique black soul to you. I wasn't planning to negotiate with you, creature. But I always enjoy watching how your kind tries to love victims with such feeble attempts. Wonderful. I was planning to kill you anyway. Isn't it great that we can both stick to our traditions? I'm ready for my trial of faith. Are you all right, Inquisitor? I'm fine, but with all the seals corrupted, the whole ship is in danger. Your tech priest finally has some heartening news. Some of those seals are still intact. That might buy you some time. It is time to open the stasis chamber then. I am approaching the stasis chamber. Cut through the chaos infestation and get to the psychic barrier. That was the plan, yes. Good plan. Give them no quarter. I have found another one of those ancient cryptic cogitators. The previous data cracks proved to be a highly valuable source of information. You should access it, Inquisitor.
access the data crux. Ready to inload data. This needs to remain confidential, Tech Priest. Understood, Inquisitor. Are you prepared for what is to come? I see that you have gained some control over these vessels. The thing in the walls is a trapped presence that has been haunting the martyr for centuries. I have been fighting it, but now, with the seals broken, it could be free. I will take care of this thing in the walls, whatever it is. I am ready to use the rosette on the psychic barrier. Magos, are you certain that this won't have grave consequences? The nature of the force field is beyond our expertise. However, if you have doubts about finding this alpha subject, we have analyzed all related data we have gained from the data crocs. Do you have any idea what she could be? Rest assured, she's a healthy specimen, both physically, mentally, and emotionally. I can't comment on her capabilities, though. What is happening? Imperian seal network collapsed. Barrier destroyed. Th that wasn't supposed to happen. Correct. However, with 96.4% of the network destroyed, the barrier couldn't resist the burst generated by the rosette. And what exactly does that mean? Prime seal has been destroyed. Stored demonic essence will be released. Are you telling me that by opening the barrier, I have unleashed that thing trapped on the ship? Correct. Sensors indicate a colossal amount of warp energy manifesting in the stasis chamber. I'll make the necessary preparations on the ship then before I enter. Talk to me, Magos. What do I have to do to wake up the Alpha Pariah from stasis? My understanding is that the stasis pods are stored in a colossal shaft. You must activate the retrieval mechanism at the cogitator first. I'll guide you through the rest after that. But there is something else. What is it? In loaded schematics, place a room near you as Uther's meditational chamber. I will take a look at it first. Uther's experiments, the mysterious origins of the pariah, the prophecy. I have bad feelings about this. I need more information. I'm at the cogitator. Our serfs digested the data pulp from the Uther's cogitators, and we have the registry number for the pod. I will call it up immediately. And then? The pod will be transferred to the Chamber of Awakenings. How long will all that take? The servitors will start the necessary protocols. They also provide clothes and rejuvenating tinctures for the subject. It will take some time, though. I don't really have much time, Magos. It is true. The readings from the stasis chamber are extremely disturbing. The fluctuation of warp energies indicates a greater manifestation.
Did you find anything interesting, Inquisitor? That would be an understatement. I wish we could discuss that without it leading to an immediate mind wipe. Wise thinking. I'm on my way to the Cogitator. Emperor, grant me strength during my greatest battle. <laughs> Outcome of failure is total destruction. Inquisitor, the demon wasn't just banished. Its unholy essence has been utterly absorbed. It is unable to be reborn, not even in the Immaterium. Are you certain about that? The readings are conclusive. This changes everything, Inquisitor. I need time to evaluate the implications. And with the greater demon gone, a part of the Chaos God has been destroyed forever. Soon? She will be the most sought-after individual in the galaxy. The Emperor's light has found me! Who are you? Where am I? I am an Inquisitor of the Holy Ordos. I've been looking for you for a very long time. You are safe. Do you know who you are? I... I don't know. I... I don't remember. Did I just kill this creature? You are the greatest weapon in the history of mankind, and you need to be protected at all costs. I can sense the power in me, but I can't control it. What is happening to me? Believe me, you are special. You can change the future of the Imperium, for better or worse. What is happening here? You have fulfilled your task, Inquisitor. From now on, I will continue to execute the orders of Uther Tiberius. Open this door now! There is no other optimal outcome which would guarantee the safety of the Alpha Subject at this moment. To allow the Inquisition to take possession of the Alpha Subject would threaten her very existence. 
which is conflicting with my sacred orders. This is heresy. This is the will of Uther Tiberius. I will protect her until she can reach her full potential. The Eutherian Theorem must be executed until she is ready to launch Stage 3 against the forces of Immaterium. I will find her. I will destroy you. I strongly advise that you leave now. The warp engines have been activated. Circumstances will shortly be suboptimal for living organisms. I will hunt down this ship, and I will rescue her. I am looking forward to meeting you again in the future, Inquisitor. Omnis be praised. Now leave. Tech Priest, I want you to open this door for me immediately. Time is running out. Navigational systems have been activated. The Martyr has turned on the warp engines. Geller shields are still compromised. I don't care. There is a 78.3% chance that warp travel will kill you. Then she will die as well. Collated data indicates that the Alpha subject could protect herself from the negative effects of the warp travel. Curses upon you, Uther Tiberius. Inquisitor, you have returned. What happened? I found the Alpha Pariah. She is the weapon that could be our salvation or our total destruction. And I let her slip through my fingers. The Martyr is preparing to enter the warp. Is the Alpha Pariah dead? The Alpha Pariah is very much alive. She is still under Uther's protection in a way. What happens now? I have a strong suspicion that we have not heard the last of her. She has a grand destiny to fulfill, but I swear by the Emperor, should she turn against what I hold sacred, I will destroy her. <laughs> 